Previously on Moe's Rants. Hey, I bet. All right, we got to bring out the the counter again. Man, that, man. Ain't nothing worse than the feds kicking in your dough and your macaroni is dry as hell. <laughs> Kane, we're going to revisit this topic in a minute. We got to take it back and we got to bring out the counter because the Russians, with their selective aiming, they catching bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor. So the Russians pull up. Let's go ahead and get these numbers up. We got one guy down. Well, they end up killing everybody. So we got one here, two here, three, four. We have one, two, three, four, five. And then we got the six member. All right, so we got six people that got taken out here. Damn, bro. There's six on the episode. Oh, did we not say? Oh, we didn't even save the last one. All right, let me get right, y'all. See, y'all supposed to stay on top of that, man. I thought this mug was going to save by itself. It should have. Well, when I tell you, man, Monet is not playing around out here. Body snatcher. So we got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wait, ten. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-two, twenty-three. Was it twenty-eight? So we had thirty-four bodies. Sheesh. 34 bodies in seven episodes. With the potential pilot, because we don't know if the pilot and the security guard are dead. But if not, we got 34 and seven, uh, seven episodes right now. That ain't bad. That ain't bad right now. I'm liking those numbers. But my boy is 911, Kane. 911, gang. The Russians are coming. Russians are coming. Sound like Paul Revere. Man, listen. If you got time to send a text, nigga, you got time to pick that motherfucking gun up and try to get something. This nigga laying on the side talking about Kane. The Russians is coming. Don't die, Kane. Don't die. Man, fuck all that. I'm not texting Kane. I'm looking, I'm looking in my pockets like, damn, where my other gun at? I know I got a gun. Hey, Margarita. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking around. <laughs> this nigga rolled over and said, fuck that, let me text Kane. Like, Kane about to pull up in the Range Rover and let some shit happen. Kane, the Russians are... And this nigga, hey, one thing about this guy, I gotta give him credit. His last breath, he put out a proper sentence. This nigga put an explanation mark after the motherfucking 911. Dog, nigga, just tell Kane the Russians are coming. Or just put Russians. Nigga, this shit's for real. This nigga writing a whole goddamn sentence. 911, exclamation point. Like, uh, nigga. And then he got the nerve to put you at the end. Nigga, you better spell Y-O-U and put a period at the end of that motherfucker. Russians coming at you. Man, nigga. Kane, nine one one. Like when Kane's reading the message, nine one one. Why he got? Why put this? That nigga had to go in there, put nine one one, hold the shift button, or change the letters around to the uh to the symbols. Put that in, switch it back to the letters, and then type out Russians coming at you. Because autocorrect would have changed that you up. But he typed that in himself because 911. Look, if you go to your messages right now, I bet it don't autofill 911 explanation point. Let me see something. Let me type 911 in. Now, mine just say 911. 
Mine don't put that at the end of it. He had to put that, Kane. This shit for real. He had to press the pound number one sign to go ahead and get in there. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Something ain't right. The Russians came over here, grabbed his phone. You fuckers killed Pavel. You will pay. You will die, Kane. You will lose this war, Kane. He sent the text message off, man. They called six bodies out here. He had enough time to send a text message off. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you gotta go. You gotta go. He won't be in season four. Damn, the Russians ain't playing, though. But this is what I wanted to see from the Russians. And that's what I was even predicting. Even if they got rid of some random folk, that's what I wanted to see at the church. Some random folks. So I'm glad that they showed it here. I mean, it was the Jamaica Ad Boys. This was Kane's, uh, well, it's street people. But that's what I wanted to see the Russians. I wanted to see them actually be a strong front. We got six bodies up out of here. That's cool. Lenora said he should have played dead. Exactly. No one else got shot on the ground. It's just him because he over here texting. But I guess it's easier to it's easier said than done to, to play dead after you've been shot up like that, though. You know, it's easy for me to say it right now, sitting in this seat. Oh man, nigga, I would have just played dead, got up, got in the car, drove to the you know, like it's easy to say that now. But shit, this motherfucker Tiny was fucking up on the motherfucking count in the warehouse. So we already knew that Tiny was a Tiny wasn't built for this. Tiny was just bullshitting in school, kind of got left behind. His reading comprehension skills were a little behind, you know what I'm saying? In the 10th grade, he's probably like eighth grade IQ level, but yeah, man, it's easy to say that here, but Miles said FaceTime. Oh, yeah, go ahead, FaceTime him. Ding! Ding! Woo! Okay. The Russians are cut. Bop! Damn, nigga. Hell nah. If I'm Kane, I'm hanging up. As soon as I open up my phone and see someone on it, oh, what? Y'all know this guy? Who is this guy that called me? I don't know who this is. Nigga, bro. What? What the fuck? Nigga. You need to be calling 911. Don't text 911. Just call 911. That'd probably be the best thing to do. Go ahead and just call them and tell them to come and get you because it ain't going to be snitching. Everybody else is dead. It's just going to be you might as well call 911 and get them up off you. Texting K911 is not the move. Yeah, at this point, life on the line, you might as well just call the police. You might as well. <laughs> OT said play it dead don't work out. No, it ain't gonna work. The Russians ain't playing. Now Kane gets called out at the warehouse. Monet telling him she's in charge. I'm in charge, D. I'm in charge. He talking about if you the boss, then what's the plan, boss? Lead us to a victory. You a leader, lead us to a victory then. Monet, he looking at Monet like, man, Monet going off of this. There's no failure stuff. You know what I'm saying? Giannis said it ain't no failures. There ain't no failures. Monet heard all that from Kane, and Kane is like, if you're going to be in charge, you got to be in charge. Kane, like, I'm going to do what needs to be done, but I'm still going to do my own thing. Because Kane feels like he should be number one. He should be that top dog. This is Kane's story. We don't care about Monet right now. We care about it because that's our mother. But we don't care about Monet right now. We don't care about fucking Taylor Swift. We don't care nothing about her. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She said, y'all niggas get up out of here. Now, he got to get Braden. Come on, Braden. Braden's like, you know, I'm um, the N-word too. He said, yeah, you are today. So, dude. Do you think that Kane can handle all of this as far as Monet 
inserting herself into the business, saying that she's in charge, pushing him out the way, making him leave, even when she's talking to Tariq, even though the Jamaica Ab Boys are the, the guys that brought in the beans. They brought in the beans for him, and now all Kane's work is off the streets and going to Stansfield on Wall Street. How do you think Kane's feeling about Monet right now? Kendall said, nah. <laughs> I know it's getting to his head, man. So it looks like this whole episode, Kane is trying to find his way to, to be in charge of something. You know what I'm saying? Being in charge of something is better than nothing. So I guess that's how Kane is looking at it. His mom might be... Because, I mean, think about it. Right now, without the Jamaica Ab Boys, where is he going to move his work at anyway? So he really has to depend on Monet if she got some bright idea, which she didn't. We got to go with that. But if we got to move all our stuff off the street just because we ain't got no muscle right now and the block is hot. Kane don't really want to be here. Kane don't want to deal with this. When's the next time we even see Kane? See, Kane had a short storyline really this uh, week. Let me see. We had Kane here. The next time we see Kane was, oh, he was meeting up with Effie, right? Yeah, it's the Kane and Effie story right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to do the Kane and Effie story. Because they tie in with each other. Well, a little bit. We'll just throw her in here real quick. But Effie goes onto the roof, and what does she notice? She notices the cameras. But the first person she texts back, Cameras on the rooftop. We need to meet. So she's texting Kane after she's seen the cameras when we know that Diana is on the, on the camera. So she wants to meet up with Kane. She was going up there to the locker to do whatever she had to do. So at this point, does Effie have, does she have work right now? Or is she all out? Like, what was she doing up here? You know what I mean? Did she have any work left? Or was she just going to like check the locker for money or something? You know what I mean? What was she going up here for? Kimmy said, I think she was picking up. Not Sandra. Uh, Kane hasn't gave her a brick yet. She hasn't met with Kane yet. She meets with Kane after this. That's why I put this on the... Uh, on the screen, because she said, Kane, we need to talk because there's cameras on the rooftop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You right. Y'all right. My bad. My bad. My bad. Last week. Well, he didn't give her no work last week. He just said he can get her some work. Not he doesn't give her the brick yet. Last week. It's got to be like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Miles. It's got to be cash because she said tuition is due. So it's probably cash up there. Tuition is due. She had to get another brick from Kane. Because remember, she was out the game. Kane came over and said, I'll get you in the game. So did he, unless they were saying it, I don't know, man. I, I, You know, I just like to know exactly what's going on. But right now, I think she might just be picking up some money or something. But she texts Kane, which we already know. Little Guap got his finger broke for being on his phone. Kane knows better than to be texting all this shit. Cameras on the rooftop, we need to meet. The feds know that there's cameras on the rooftop. If they get these messages, oh, yeah, they're just going to connect it all together. And what did you have to meet with Kane Tejada for? Because we picked up Diana on that same rooftop that you were talking about. Because we got you on the photo. These kids. These kids. But after this, she does meet up with Kane. And now this is where she gets the one brick. Now, we've been talking about everybody's been saying Theo is ungrateful. Effie, there's cameras on the roof. You ain't got no work. One brick is better than no brick. She talking about tuition is due, Kane. Tuition is due, Kane. Don't die. 
about Kane. Stay with us, Kane. Kane said, look, take this money. You need it, I got it. She said, I'm not taking your money, Kane. He said, you can use it. It ain't going to hurt me. I said, what is Kane doing here? What, like, what, what's, what's, what's going on, Kane? You gave her a brick. If she need tuition money, she could bust down that brick. I remember everybody was telling me, oh, she ain't stealing for Noma. She doing her thing. That's what everybody was telling me. So why is Kane giving her money? Bust down that brick, motherfucker. That's what I'm thinking. Why I got to give you, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I give you a brick and you ungrateful? You talking about you need tuition, but you better bust that motherfucking brick down like you been doing, tough girl. See, I don't know how these motherfuckers is moving in the dope game. And that's where I say, wait a minute. This guy came. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Did I wait? See, in my mind, I was thinking of something else. Then I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She said tuition is due. She didn't ask for no money. And you pull out a wad of money. I said, oh yeah, this guy came right here. This guy came right here. I said, this, this is it. Now I see why I started to like Monet more and more. I said, this nigga Kane is out his fucking mind. Everybody was calling Salim. Oh, Salim lame. Salim this. Salim that. Everybody put Kane is lame in the chat. This nigga pulled out a bankroll. I said, nigga, what? Here, take the money. I'm going to miss it. I want everybody in the chat right now. Kane is lame. Kane is whack. This ain't no different than that bum-ass poem that Salim or Trevor did. This is actually worse than that shit. She told your ass no. You pulled out a bankroll and she told your ass no, nigga. This is worse than Salim. At least Salim fired Diana, nigga. You giving her work and money. What is that sense that they even made? You gave her a brick to go make money. Now you giving her money on top of the brick, nigga. What part of the game is that? She's supposed to bust that brick down, bring the money back. You ain't supposed to be giving her money and the brick. That don't that don't sound like how the dope game. That sounds like everything is going out, nothing coming in. Pause. I said, like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? You think Monet will put up with this shit? Hell no. I was like, man, I thought this nigga Kane was my boy. I was like, damn, this nigga Kane real. Then I said, whoa, this nigga real simpish. Tuition, nigga? Whole time, Diana on campus with a job. Your sister on campus with a job, nigga, and you giving Effie 50 down. I don't even know how much it is, but we just gonna say 50. Cause 50 sound cool, and even 50. Or even 50. He said, huh, I ain't gonna need this. I said, this nigga came different. This nigga came different. If this is Mario Brothers, he just jumped on a mushroom and hit a star at the same time. Cause he lighting up right now. He bigger than hell right now. Paul simping. That nigga said, huh. One brick is all I could get you. You know, Monet got it tied up. So whole time he trying to make it seem like he a boss. We well, just said he working for his mama. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. That ain't right. James Brown told us that ain't right. She said, I'm not taking your money. <laughs> He said, come on, Effie, you need it. She said, nah, I don't need that. I ain't your charity case. So Kane's a little hurt about it. But one thing we learned on this channel, you got to be persistent, y'all. Never give up. If she turns you, well, be careful with that because some people can call it stalkerage. Be careful. Don't they? Don't take my word for it. Don't be too persistent. They be like, this nigga weird. But then at the same time, they be like, man, I wish niggas would try harder. So you got to be careful. See, what Kane is doing, they going to be blinded by that money. Aunt Viv just told Hillary, don't be blinded by the money. 
We know when players club, they said, make the money. Don't let the money make you. Now, see what Kane is doing. This is where the simping is kicking in. This is kind of like Love Don't Cost a Thing with Nick Cannon and Christina Milian. Very classic movie. Classic. Y'all remember Al the Pooh Boy? Yeah, he getting shorties now. Y'all remember Kane? He getting the shorties. No, he got to pay for it, but he getting the shorties now. Well, this is after. This is right after. But oh, hold on. We got to We got to do it in order. We got to do it in order. All right. So we know about the shooting that went down. We know what Monet was doing on his side. She was over here luring Kai in, but not telling anybody the plan because she didn't want her sons to know that she tried to backstab and double cross and cut everybody out the picture to cover up the Lorenzo murder that Gordo did to potentially get Kai out of here and Gordo. Hey, thank you for that four ninety nine, Jacoby. You know, Effie, a uh, scammer. She's always open to an opportunity. <laughs> What's she doing uh, with the two for one bricks in the beginning of the season or money management? Yeah, like Effie was selling on eight different campuses. We counted it out. She was cutting off all the top of them. She bought a bullshit car because she said she wanted to save money and stay incognito. Where all the money go? Remember, she told us, oh, I built not I don't count no prime. Okay, Ms. Robotics. <laughs> Where your money at, Ms. Robotics? But Kane comes up here with his mama to go see Kai, pay him a little visit because, you know, we're thinking about using him to get rid of the Russians. But Monet is letting Kane know, I don't want you in here. And Kane's already been hesitant about listening to his mom. Now, he loves Monet. I love Monet. We all love Monet. But he's been looking at her like, man, something ain't been right these last couple of weeks with you. Asking all these questions. Popping back up into the business, not really knowing what's going on, asking Tariq questions over me. And then she kicks him out of this meeting. Now we know what goes down. He got to stay outside. Pop, pop, pop. Two plus two, we got to equal five bodies out here. We got to even five bodies. Kai gets taken out. But Kane is the one that comes in and gives the fatal blow. Pause. Two. Kai. Pow. Headshot across the room. Big four, five. Easy money. <laughs> No practice. Boom. Takes him out. Now we find out that Kai potentially has something to do with Lorenzo's death because there's a text message that was sent. Now, at this point, Kane don't know who this is from. I don't know who it's from. All we know is that it's a random number. Uh, was 347-555-0158. So Kane is looking like, wait a minute, this don't seem right. This don't seem right. What was going through Kane's mind right here, y'all? What was going through Kane's mind right here? Was Kane trying to piece it together like he did the Lorenzo and Zeke murder? <laughs> Effie's meat curtains come on now <laughs> he shouldn't be thinking about that right now we over here we gotta handle this body Kenna said Monet's on some BS Big Wolf said he should smell a rat too black at this moment Kane did the quick maths hey <laughs> I bet two plus two equals. Six and a half. Like, is this a trick question? Two plus two. Mm -hmm. But I know one thing, though. Kane, is, he ain't as stupid as we think he is. He's stupid. No disrespect, Kane. I don't want no problems. But when it comes time to figure things out, Who'd he learn from? His mama. He figured it out just like Diana figured it out. He'll figure it out. Chocolate Drop said, what if they find out the burner phone is Monet's because Drew still has the phone?
But I don't think she's texting nobody but Gordo off their phone. No, uh, Monet took the phone. Remember, she took the phone out of Kai's pocket. Drew had it. She read it. She tossed it back to Drew because Drew used the burner phone when he was at the house. When he was at the house with uh, Gordo, he used the burner phone. So Monet didn't have neither one of the phones. Her phone, Drew got, and then Gordo's phone is still at the room. So, Ashley Kane learned a lot from Mecca. Well, he did. I ain't going to lie to you. He did learn up under Mecca. He was like his understudy. You know what I'm saying? The next coming of uh, Dante, a.k.a. Mecca. Minus the teller. But right after this magnificent shootout, what does my boy do? I'm here for my tuition. The lady said, your tuition? Well, it looks like you're paid up all the way through the semester. She said, paid up all the way through the semester? Yeah, all the way up through the semester. Let me go print off a hard copy for you. And then we look at the text matches. What does it say? 2K. F you. I told you I didn't need your charity. I told you I did not need your charity. Do re me. But no, I'm not an R&B singer. I'm a gangster rapper throwing up the middle finger. She sent that message. Kane talking about you welcome. This nigga texts back. You're welcome. Kimmy said he's wearing her down. Man, I ain't trying to wear nobody down that costs a whole tuition. I don't even pay for my own school. You think I'm about to pay for someone else's tuition? This is the same girl. Listen, listen and listen carefully. She told Tariq after three months of kicking it after she didn't kill Tariq's girlfriend that she doesn't want to be with him. She told on Tariq. Tariq didn't care. He still got with her. She said, I don't want to be known as your girl. I want to be independent. But then she want to be with the nigga. Now she didn't told Kane. Just like she told Tariq, I don't want to be with you. I don't want your money. These Negroes continue to do the dumbest shit ever. He said, fuck it, you ain't going to take my money. Let's go, Will. If this is wearing down, uh, I ain't wearing down nobody. I ain't wearing down my pockets for nobody tuition when this motherfucker is never in school anyway. Effie be on the block. Effie didn't commit the murder, and you know about it, allegedly. And you talk about paying for tuition? Whole time, Diana struggling. Books ain't paid for. This nigga didn't pay the tuition for Effie. Diana over here having to hustle Celine for extra hours at the candy shop. What kind of brother is this? They said wearing her down. Nigga, you need to be wearing down the debt that your sister in. Nigga, fuck wearing Effie down. Effie got a goddamn brick. She better make money. I said, what the fuck? They different. They did. Hey, this is different, man. I guess this is that real love. This is that street love. Kendall, no. Kendall said it was a street gesture. Well, all right. It was a street gesture, all right. Shit.
Yeah, but he gave he didn't give Diana money for school. He gave Diana money just to have money. Remember, Kane don't know everything that's going on up there. She was like, all right, I got to have a job for this. And he just gave her money for her to have. He wasn't paying for nothing dealing with school. He gave her money so she didn't have to work. He didn't pay money for the school. We know she need books and shit. Come on, man. Diana walk around in Balenciaga but can't afford the books. You think she's spending that money that Kane gave her on? No. Go pay off her tuition. Remember, Lorenzo said, I only got you paid up for this one semester or one school year. Go pay the rest of that shit for next year so Diana can go to school. No. He got a street gesture. He got effing. <laughs> <laughs> Like, damn, Kane. Hey, what y'all think? Y'all think Kane went to the campus? Because he can't pay that online. There's no way he could pay on. He had to go up there to pay this. And Kane ain't got no bank account. What did he, what did he do? Go up there and just drop cash on this? How y'all think Kane paid for this? Y'all think he paid in cash? He had to go to the campus. One journey said, not everyone is crying. I just have enough money. <laughs> Some have more than enough money. Oh, no, I get it. But the thing is, Kane doesn't have more than enough money. Kane just had to move all his product off the street. He could only get one brick. Monet has everything tied up. So it's not like Kane is really out here getting it. We know Kane's backstory. We just heard the backstory. That nigga ain't the boss. They ain't got no work on the street. So how are they getting their money? Because Tariq and them moving all the product now. So Kane ain't really getting money like that. Once again, we didn't call the Tejadas. It wasn't they dumbass lies. They don't be out here getting it like they say they getting it. Kane got to make money, so he's trying to get Effie to sell for him because Jamaica Ave is gone, and all he can get is one brick. Kane ain't getting money like that. Don't let these fools fool you. Bankroll in hand don't mean nothing in the long run. The bankroll in hand don't mean nothing in the long run. And let's not forget, let's not forget, $2 million is tied up in a Ponzi scheme. So let's not forget the Tejadas ain't getting it like y'all think they getting it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's no in German. Nine. They not getting it like that. Tariq St. Patrick and Wall Street is getting it like that. All cap, no frap is getting it like that. There ain't no product on the street right now. The Tejadas, they out of luck. They depending on Tariq. Aha. We also figure out what the truth is on this channel. Also, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Man, we having a good time. Kane and pay 50 G's for tuition for Effie Morales. Miss, I'm going to catch a body. Miss, I got the picture, Tariq. You need me a little bit more. But right now, we talking about Kane to how to him going to another level. Now, I know he got some bread. Okay, cool. But he ain't getting it like that. He ain't getting it like that. Nah, we haven't talked about the uh, the Ponzi scheme yet. Right now, we're just talking about Kane because he don't know nothing about it. That's Braden's story. Kane don't know nothing about that. He just knows that $2 million is in that account, and I guess we're going to be good. But I was already kind of looking at that like, oh, I don't, this don't sound right anyway. Y'all can't touch that insurance money. I mean, y'all can, but if you're below the minimum, they're going to be on y'all head. Y'all ain't going to gonna be like, hey, you can't keep withdrawing if you're below the minimum anyway. And eventually, the same thing that they were already doing with the Ponzi scheme, that's exactly what they were doing with Kane's money. When you really think about it, and now I mean it ain't a Ponzi scheme, it's just all criminal activity. But if you compare it to a Ponzi scheme, the only way that Kane can keep his $2 million in insurance at Weston Holdings is if he brings in new people up under it. So he got to sell more bricks, get new clients. Get their money, bring it in to keep that paper trail going. So technically, Braden was already knowledgeable about a Ponzi scheme because that's what he was about to do with all the Kane and the Tejada's money. They had to have money keep coming in because if not, it ain't going to work. It ain't going to meet the minimum requirement. And now that we found out it's a Ponzi scheme, 
Oh, it's going to get deep now. Oh, yeah, that money gone. That money gone. But when's the last time we see Kane? All right, after that, he didn't pay the tuition. All right, y'all think that was good? That was that was a good gesture right there? Kane should have did that or not? Now, the next time we see Kane, is he pulls up on Drew after Drew kills Gordo. And after that, it's really just them at the house at the Rico. And we already know how they felt about that. Everybody was jammed up. All right, y'all say it was a good gesture. I don't know about that. I can't agree with that one. Whatever Kane did, Kane did. I, I can't agree with that. One. But that's the Kane story. I know he's trying to wonder who had the dope. What's y'all thoughts on Kane and Diana getting locked up? Do y'all y'all think he's about to question Monet and Drew and ask what was Diana doing with drugs? Or is Monet gonna just like, hey, we gotta call Davis and we gotta get up there ASAP because we know Diana might tell the truth. Because what Kane is doing, that's a little bit too far for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with you doing a little, little something, something. You know what I mean? Just a little something, something. But the whole tuition, Trench Gamer says, he said, Monet going to jail. That's what Kane is thinking. <laughs> Monet going to jail. <laughs> you looking over at your mama like, damn, you going to jail. You going to jail. I'm sorry. I hate to say it, Monet, but you going to jail. They're going to get you for that shit. They're going to get you for Whitman. They're going to get you for Ramirez. They're going to get you for a lot of shit, mom. I think you had something to do with that carry dev, too. Wait, are they gone yet? What you going to do, mama? <laughs> they ain't after us. What you going to do? But that's pretty much the Kane story. I don't know, man. My dog Kane, he switched up on us, man. I didn't think we were going to see this side of Kane. I thought he was going to try to get at Effie, but I didn't think he was trying to pay his way in. Show that. Say what's your price. Uh-huh. Just to back it up. You can hold my eyes. Now let's say you owe me something. <laughs> Damn, Kane. In high school, you was the man, homie. I guess, hey. I guess every thug got to have his queen, man. You know what I mean? Every thug got to have his queen. That's how I'm looking at it. What y'all think? Who's a better couple? Kane and Effie, Tariq and Effie. Which one y'all think fits better? Cause my dog Kane, I don't, I don't, I don't know how. How do we get here? All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's take a step or two back. The reason Kane is acting like this is because his dad just died. You know, he's grieving. He's going through a lot right now. His dad just died. His, his mind ain't all the way there. We're going to cut Kane some slack. We're going to cut Kane some slack. Right. We fall back, Kane. We fall back. Look, Poppy just died. You don't know what the hell your mama got going on. Your sister got jammed up. Man, it's a lot going on. I understand. Oh, my God. What the fuck, man? I can't even think right. All right. We're we going to cut Kane some slack, y'all. He's suffering right now. He's suffering right now. He just lost his dad, man. He just put his dad in the dirt, got into a shootout, killed a Russian. My heart goes out to you, Kane, man. Hey, we on your side. We stand with Kane, y'all. He didn't mean to do that. He's just tripping right now. He's going through, like, he got issues at the house. He don't know who he can trust, who he, you know what I'm saying? It's just tough for him right now. You know what I mean? I mean, think about it. Think about it. What would you do? 
What would you do if your sister just got locked up? What would you do if your dad just died and at his funeral, they shot up the casket? What would you do? You would go spend that money too. You would go spend that money too. What would you do if your son was at home crying all alone on the bedroom floor because he's hungry? And then your only way to feed him is to get a little bit of money from Cain and his dad is gone. Somewhere on lockdown, in and out of lockdown. I ain't no, now he's smoking rock now. I ain't got a job now. For you, this is what Epi calls life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all don't know what y'all would go through, man. We got to cut Kane some slack, man. Another brother, man. Another brother that's been brought down by the system. They got Salim this episode, and now they got Kane, man. They got Salim and Kane in the same. Two black brothers that were destined for greatness. Diana brought down Salim. Effie about to bring down Kane. Oh, Monet brought down Kai. Oh, ah. we're losing them. Every episode, we're losing one brother. Every episode. They all taking them down. <laughs> they tried to bring Salim down because he was adopted. He didn't choose to be born in that family. Cain ain't choose to be born in the Tejada family. Y'all not calling him lame. This nigga spending money. At least Celine was messing with Diana. Cain ain't even smelled. Like, Effie don't even get this nigga a hug. Effie don't even get close enough for this nigga to catch a whip of her walking by. And this nigga spending money, but they all call Celine whack for doing a poem. We don't do that over here. Everybody gets the same slander. Kane is lame as fuck. They call Celine lame for doing a poem to a woman that he was interested in, that he had intercourse with, and they were actually vibing for a little bit. He thought that this was his wife. He had a poem. That's all he did was a poem. But Cain tricked off money. Cain spent money after she told this nigga no. And they like, oh, Cain, that's the best gesture ever. No, it's not. It's the same shit Salim did, but worse. You put that magnifying glass on him. You turn it to the right just a little bit. Let the sun come on and burn that nigga Cain up. Because that nigga is on fire right now. And I ain't seen shit like this in no TV show in years. Cain has just became the worst. When it comes to pimping and simping, he is on the simping line, and there ain't no way that nigga can come back. Kane, lock the door behind you. Don't worry about it, because it's going to lock when you leave. Get your ass out of here. Go. Get. We don't want you around here no more. No, no, no. We don't want you around here no more, Kane. You not fucking with us. No, 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 no. They said Salim was whack for Googling Diana. Diana Google Salim, she was cool as a motherfucker. They said Salim was whack for giving a poem to a woman that he was involved with. Kane has spent half a motherfucking hundred K almost on a chick he ain't did nothing with that's messing with the dude that he's in business with. And she didn't already turn the nigga down several times, but he's still applying that pressure. Kane is worse than Salim. At least Salim, yeah, he faked his name, but that motherfucker... People fuck with him though. Diana fucked with him. You can't take that away from him. Diana fucked with him and he ain't have to pay a dime. He gave her broke ass a fucking job and she gave him some loving. You done spent $50,000. We going into another episode and you ain't even got a hug from Effie. So if Salim is whack, Kane is the worst on the fucking TV show. James St. Patrick, guess what, brother? This guy, Kane, has just passed you up. Don't even worry about it no more. When we go over to Brillo's channel, we will go ahead and make it official. But Kane is number one. He's higher than Cartier. At least Cartier was teaching the game and wasn't spending money. Not like this. Cartier was taking him out to get something to eat. Cartier was still doing work. Cartier was still moving that work. Cartier was still buying assets.
Kane ain't did a goddamn thing but trick off fifty thousand dollars, and Effie ain't did shit but tell this nigga I ain't your charity case. Kane case closed. You're the worst. Who is our next character? Who is our next character? Kane. If Salim is whack and lame, Kane is the worst of all time. At least Celine could say, oh, I was whipped, man. That thing was good. What Kane going to say? Because Salim gave Diana a job. Kane gave Effie a job. Salim got some. Kane ain't got none. Salim did a poem. Kane spent money. Kane tried to give her money. She said no. So he had to go do it himself behind closed doors. That's how lame this nigga is. It's over with. It's over with. I'm giving you guys all the facts. And I told you, if we do one character one way, we got to do all the characters the same way. Kane has just exceeded. I can't even talk about it no more. I don't have any more characters that I can spew out to you guys about how Kane is the worst in the power universe. Even Tariq ain't doing it. Tariq had RSJ, the richest nigga in the world, fly him and his chick over there. That's what he did with Effie for the free ski. He had to pay 50 and ain't get nothing. I called Tariq Lane for going over there. I'm sorry, RS Jamie and my girlfriend had plans this weekend. No, nigga, you go with the billionaire and you do your business. But Tariq negotiated to get her crooked ass to come with him. So, Kane, I don't know where we went wrong. But when you were sitting on that couch and I said, if Kane is giving her work or money or stuff, I... I The prediction was right, y'all. Said Kane is playing the long game mode. Oh, and I mean, I, I understand he's playing the long game, but we seen the trailer. The long game is just next week. <laughs> we seen the trailer. The long game is just next week. How? How? how what, what were we thinking the long like how 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 long are we talking, Paul? Like, how far out are we trying to project this to? You know what I mean? Like, if I come up off 50 bands, which I would never ever do, uh, I, I need a I need a return on the investment to be pretty damn quickly. 50 for school. It said the long game. You got something to do with Diana being arrested. Man, why they playing? That's right. I got a job for you. The long, the long game. We, we talking about the long game next week? <laughs> we talk about the long game next week. 50000 for this? Fifty thousand for this. Yeah, we're gonna play the long game, all right. It's gonna be a long drive from that courthouse to that prison. It's gonna be a long game, all right. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be a long game in that courtroom. The only thing is the judge is gonna win. You not gonna make it about here. Someone gotta go down. It could be a long game, all right. But, you know, I got to go against y'all, man. We got to make it entertaining. If we all agree, then it'll be a boring evening. So I got to – I'm on Kane's side. I fuck with Kane, but, man, that move right there was horrible with Effie. I I, I don't know, man. That, that was a terrible move, man. Read Chocolate Drops comment. Let me see. Let me see. Kane made an investment. All right. Hey, uh, let me let me write some of these things down. We're gonna see how hey, let, hey, we're gonna we're gonna revisit this because I I I, I just want to make sure that we're getting this right. Kane made an investment. Oh, yeah, put that down. Kane made an investment, Kane investments. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, 